Watch the latest video at foxnews.com Russian President Vladimir Putin is uniting NATO to act because of his series of aggression, but President Donald Trump's actions are encouraging member nations to increase their defense spending to promote peace through strength, according to Rep. Joe Wilson, a member of the NATO Parliamentary Assembly. His aggression in Ukraine, killing 10,000 people, his aggression in the Republican of Georgia, annexation of parts of Moldova, Europe is responding, the South Carolina Republican told Fox News, America's newsroom, on Thursday. Last year, NATO troops were sent to Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, while American troops went to Poland, said Wilson. I met with the defense minister of Poland last week, and they really want to make this a permanent placement of American troops, to stop aggression by Russia, said Wilson. He also answered tensions that are rising between President Donald Trump and German Chancellor Angela Merkel, as Germany's military spending for NATO has fallen below the 2% target, in noting that Trump's tough stance is getting results. I was in Brussels in February and I saw 29 delegations, said Wilson. I've never seen such cooperation, and so I believe what President Trump is doing is being successful. He is causing the other countries to increase their defense spending to promote peace through strength. Wilson also thinks the other NATO countries will respond to Trump's warnings, especially considering the Russian threat. We've had other presidents say our allies should participate more fully but now we have with President Donald Trump promises made and promises kept, said Wilson. It was just a year ago, that people should look on July 6 last year. The president gave a remarkable speech in Warsaw, reassuring our allies about Article 5 working together to promote the strongest national defense for mutual defense. However, he admitted that the upcoming meetings in Europe may be contentious, as Trump will be standing up for the American people, but the president's strong stance will be beneficial to Europe. The reason Eastern Europe and Central Europe were liberated is because of Ronald Reagan standing up for peace through strength, said Wilson. Now we have a president who is standing up for peace through strength. This is just so reassuring and it is heartwarming to me as a veteran myself as a dad of four sons who served overseas in the military, for a military family. This is so reassuring we have a president who is... Following through, politics Russian President Vladimir Putin is uniting NATO to act because of his series of aggression, but President Donald Trump's actions are encouraging member nations to increase their defense spending to promote peace through strength, according to Rep. Joe Wilson, Vladimir Putin, NATO, Donald Trump, Joe Wilson 403 Thursday the 5th of July 2018 2.05 p.m. The 5th of May 2018 Thursday the 5th of July 2018 2.05 p.m. Newsmax Inc. Newsmax Inc. Newsmax Inc.